You're listening to BKM Podcast, hosted by BK Mojave. That's me. This is the UFO Report Review for the year 2018 for the month of November for the state of Nevada. Nevada flag. There's been 1,363 reports reported on this particular website that I'm utilizing today. From 1947 to 2018. I'll be posting all information where you can grab this information below the video. Okay, let's start in because I don't want to take up too much of your time. I kind of want to get through this. I'm not in this for the money. This is just a hobby. Um, Reporting and giving my opinion on this uh, commentary. Um, This is not being used for any commercial project. It's just a personal blog hobby for ufology okay so here we go so national ufo reporting center site report occurred 11 7 2018 at 05 15 report on 11 7 2018 at 7 25 41 a.m post on 11 9 2018 now why is that important those dates occurred report and posted well we want to know how much time has elapsed between when it occurred and when it was reported and then when it was posted those are those are information is it a fresh report is was it a a report that went somebody sat on for a long time and then decided to post it and the posted is letting us know how quickly the website looks at it and gets it out to the public so we can uh, review it Okay, this location happened in Reno, Chevron shape. Interesting, cool, cool, cool shape. In my opinion, the Chevron came from reverse engineering from a crashed UFO. Not saucer shape, but something a little bit more on the lines of uh, stealthier type from the Russians. Okay. I believe the Russians had the first, in my opinion, one of the first surveillance, or I should say the Nazis, excuse me, not the Russians, the Nazis, had one of the first surveillance high-altitude aircraft, in my opinion. And I think we got some reverse engineering off of some of their crash that helped us create this Chevron. In my opinion, I don't believe the Chevron is extraterrestrial, but hey, everybody can be wrong. It's just my opinion. Let me get on with the show. Duration one minute. They said it was unlit, silent, slow hovering, chevron shaped craft. Was out running, looked up, and saw a dead silent chevron or boomerang shaped craft with no lights. It looked like a very graceful, gigantic bird gliding slowly through from east to west. After seeing it the first time, I kept looking up. And either the same craft again or saw another one exactly like the first one. The second sighting was approximately three minutes after the first sighting. So he's not sure. Maybe he saw multiple. Or it could be the same one in the same area. Now, <clears throat> I've seen video coming out of Nevada with the Chevron in the sky over Las Vegas. Okay, I personally have not seen this ship. I've had other UFO hunters that have uh, taken pictures of it, and I've viewed it out by Area 51, Rachel, Nevada, or in uh, Prump, and also here in the Las Vegas Valley. So, interesting sighting. And on with the next one. Let me see if I get this right here. Okay. So, boom, boom. Number two. Excuse me, I got a Okay, number two, let's see. Um, Occurred on 11-11-2018. Posted on 11-11-2018. Now, they they witnessed it around 4.04 in the morning, and they reported it quickly after. What, like two hours, two and a half hours, or, you know, give and take, maybe right then and there. And it was posted on 11-24. So, it didn't take the website very much time to get this report 
through the process and out to us so we can view. Now, another triangle. Now, sometimes triangles can be chevrons and sometimes chevrons can be triangles. It really depends on the back and your view, the back of the angle and where you're viewing it from. Because at certain angles, uh, you might think it's a triangle and it's a chevron or a triangle. You know, they're, they're kind of similar ships. If you, There's just some little variations that can um, change in those ships. Or it can be a, a triangle and it can morph into a chevron or a chevron morph into a triangle. Who knows? The sky is the limit, so that's why you always keep your eyes to the sky. And this is BK Mojave on with the show. Okay, duration, two minutes, 4 a.m., Fernley, Nevada, 11, 11, 2018. So he just putting that date still in his report. So let me get on. I witnessed what I looked up. I said, I witnessed what I looked up and Hershey, Hershey kissed, turned sideways with a triangle. White lights around edges of the vehicle. It was moving very slow like a... Hovercraft flew over Fox Peak Station directly above me. It was not a plane. Too low in altitude. Too too low in altitude. It was not a like a bird. No sound. Uh, then he rode. Then vehicle flew over a house. I walked further into my yard and watched it fly. A little more than either lights went out or it just disappeared. So. All this is written. I haven't changed it. I just view it with you guys and we go through it. Okay. So, he went outside and he looked up and he saw like a Hershey kiss turned sideways. So, that's what he was seeing. He was That's why he sent the scene. It was a triangle shape. Or it could be like a tear teardrop shape turned. They kind of, you know, turned sideways or something like that. Um... No sound. Okay, we need size. We need to have some kind of size. It was a big, like a car, a bus, an airplane, or ball. Those are key. That's key information if you can try to assume the size too. Okay. So on with the story. It was, um, you know, it's so. I'm so glad people report stuff, even if it's drones or not. I'm not there. I can't tell you if it what it is for sure, but just by what I'm reading, you know, sometimes you need more detail. But I'm not going to kick this guy to the curb or just report to the curb, none of them, because it is a very common thing to see is a triangle in the state of Nevada, like a Chevron. They're very common. So on with number three. Okay. Uh, National UFO reporting site sighting report occurred 11 14 2018. Report on 11 14 2018. Post on 11 24 18. So, like, once again, quick, 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 in and out, into the site, putting it out. So, there's no time elapse, and that's good. In location, Reno, uh, shape is circle, duration, one minute. Uh, Perfectly round shape with hazy glow hovering mid high in the sky. After approximately a minute, it shot to the right in a streak and disappeared. It was so fast, I could hardly keep my eyes on it. Now, all these reports, you can find them on this website. And here at the bottom, you can go to www.nuforc.org web reports forward slash one four three forward slash s one four three seven six eight dots html and i'll give you this exact report but i'll i'll post where you can get this stuff below the video so interesting interesting he sees a perfectly round shaped with hazy glow hovering mid mid high in the sky so he's probably thinking about 15,000 15, feet. Because cruising altitude for commercial airlines here in Vegas is be above that. You know, I see him go over about, you know, 20, 
So those are all estimates. I'm not exact, but you know, so um, so for about a minute, it shoots to the right in a streak and then disappears. You know, uh, very common sighting, especially in Nevada. Nevada has a lot of test aircraft. I mean, the Air Force, the military, pretty much runs Nevada. I mean, we have Nevada test trains. There's a lot. I mean, I see a lot of experimental craft flying, flying over my house. Um, very interesting report. Um, it's hard to sit there and say, once again, when it streaks, it is. are they meaning contrail streak? Or gas streak, like uh, emitting from, what I mean by gas is the engine burned off and there's smoke, you know. Because sometimes if, uh, you know, like a meteor or, you know, space debris comes in the atmosphere, it catches on fire and it leaves that smoke, the streak behind it. So, kind of interesting what he's talking about. Because it shoots to the right in a street and then disappears. So if you think about it, the head, it's kind of like a shooting star and it goes out at night and you see it. But have you ever seen one during the day? You know, you look up in the sky and you're going to sit there and see this little glow thing. You're going to be, what the hell? And then it's going to streak and it's going to disappear. So that's what I'm saying. Say, so number four. Okay, occurred 11 14 2018 1600 report on 11 14 28 2018 at 902 posted on 11 24 2018 location las vegas shape formation duration 11 seconds i i usually always daze at the stars and always see these orange orbs i've never thought Nothing of it because I'm a uh, f firm believer of UFO life forms and I'm in tune with a lot so I know it's aliens. But today was pretty weird. It was seven or eight orange orbs in a straight line and they started floating away and then they disappeared one by one then reappearing. A few couple hundred yards away from where they were. Okay, remember that. A few, and this is the first time I read this report. A few couple hundreds of yards away from where they were. Um, then they disappeared. Again, this happened quickly. A squad of 10 to 16 seconds. And I made a huge deal about it because I was with two of my friends. And they were upset because they said I was tripping and they didn't see them. But I know what I saw and I know what I've seen before. I'm not sure if they're sure if I'm the only one that can see them. So please, if you see this as well, reach out. Well, I've seen them. I'm. In a group called the Las Vegas UFO Hunters, we go out uh, sky watching all the time. Lately, I haven't been because I've been really sick. The weather's been really beating me up. Um, you know, I'm an old man. That's what happens with you young people. Remember, when you get older, you get your body gets run down a little bit more. So that's why you got to always stay up on it. Um, stay in shape. Now, I've been across the valley, west side in the mountains, Red Rock area, at night watching east towards Lake Mead, if you know the valley, you know what I'm talking about, and the commercial aircraft in a distance, they'll stack them up way out there to bring them in, especially on a, a weekend night or a night where there's a lot of air traffic. And from a distance, you'll see a, a lights out in the distance that are really, really bright, so you think they're up closer. And those are airplanes just stacking up from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 miles way out there, and you can see those lights. At night, trust me, you can. Uh, and then slowly they'll, the lights will disappear because they're uh, either a mountain goes in front of them, they go in front of a mountain, or they're going away, or they turn. You see a light, and then also the plane turns from way distance. You're not going to see that turn of the light. You're going to see the light go, and then it's going to go out. 
be turning, going to approach, and then it turns. I wasn't there. I'm not saying this guy is seeing things. He's seeing things, and but he's not understanding what they are. Hey, I've seen this exact same thing. They could be UFOs, they could be planes, but I've seen commercial air traffic do that from a distance. They will mess with you, and then you'll drive over there, and you'll go, oh my God, this is a bunch of planes circling over Lake Mead. And you're, you're seeing that from, from way across town. So that can play tricks on you here in, in Las Vegas. I mean, Las Vegas Valley, we've got one, we've got like one, two, three, four, four or five airports. You know, McCarran and a bunch of little North Las Vegas. We got one over here, over in Gene. You know, they got one up in Prump. They got one, you know, all little people that live over in State Line have their own personal airstrips. So you have to watch out. So on with number five, but good report. If this person hears this, join the Las Vegas UFO hunters. Okay, now number five occurred. Excuse me, I take a sip of water. Occurred 11 15, 2018. Report on 11 16, 2018. Posted on 11 24, 2018. Location Alamo, near Nevada. Well, what they mean is near Nevada. There's Alamo, Nevada. I know this place very well. <coughs> I've been out there a lot, a lot, a lot. It's not very far from Area 51, and there's a campground called Branigat. Uh, it's a bird sanctuary. Uh, it's got uh, a couple lakes, campgrounds, 12, 15 campgrounds. It's free to camp the ground. It's free to camp there. They ain't got no showers, but the little town of Alamo that's a couple miles away from there, they have showers at the uh, gas station. You can go to. And this place is wild west, okay? Cattle, uh, snakes, uh, coyote, uh, jack. I mean, rabbits, jackrabbits, um, everything, you know, humans, aliens, everything out there. Okay, so let me get on with this report. It's circular 10 seconds. Two orange yellow balls appeared for about three seconds and disappeared. I was driving north on Highway 93 and just past Ash Springs off to my left. A large orange yellow ball the size of a Headlight appeared for three seconds and then disappeared. As it disappeared, another one below it and to the left appeared for three seconds and disappeared. It was over before I could pull over for my phone. So, you're driving down, going towards what we call extraterrestrial, getting ready to get on extraterrestrial highway. Okay, and that's going up into uh, Rachel, Nevada, by the one the en entrance is going into Area 51. Now, there's a lot of hilly area. People camp, and they, and they go up into the hill area, and from a distance, you might see uh, some flashlights turning on, turning off while you're driving. It could distract you, you know, if you don't know the area that well, you will see people backpacking okay out there on that road it's happened to me trust me but on the other hand you will see a lot of weird activity out there you know i've been out to the the campground and a friend again and i've seen these weird lights Green lights, glowing lights, going in and out of the atmosphere over by Area 51. Because you can view across the lake over a little plateau towards Area 51 area. It's And you won't see no commercial air traffic. None at all. And it's either military or maybe some low air traffic that uh, is coming over the 93 to land into a personal private home airstrip but hey on with my last one very interesting report you know the size of a headlight that makes me think it's a flashlight 
you know. If he says, you know, a big glow, because if it's a ship, and it's going to put off a big glow, drones are going to put off a big, radiant, um, you know, glow to it. We're looking for that big, stunning glow. It has a lot of power behind it. Okay, because you got to remember that these vessels, they travel, they're going to, they're very, they have a lot of energy, so their glow is going to be super, super intense. So you got to train your eye between flashlight, lantern, you know, headlight, you know, uh, somebody flicking a lighter or campground fire from a distance can mess with you. You know, all these things can mess with you. So, but you report it because you get that thing. You have, you seen something about it made you report it. So that's, that's the key. Thank you for the report. You never know unless you keep your eyes to the sky. So the last and final one, thank you for hanging on. I'm going to first start off with these two guys. These two guys, okay. Alan Hynek. Um, he was a, he trained as an astronaut uh, who served as a scientific advisor for Project Blue Book. I'm not going to get into Project Blue Book fully, but that was a project that that the government of the United States was operating back in uh, the 50s, early 50s, and uh, I think it probably started in the 40s, to be honest with you, was when they started talking about it, and went on into some time. I, I might do a little project on that one there. And this other guy is Jacqui Valley, if I said that right, a scientist and a prominent UFO researcher. These are like... Um, what I call uh, the elders of ufology, some of the elders, some of the key people that, um, you know, is, was, because I don't think they're still alive, bringing it to the forefront, UFO research, ufology, all that. So let me get on with it. I'm digressing. So occurred 11, 29, 2018, 1600, report on 11, 30. 2018, post on 11:30, 2018. See very much time between the report and when it got out. Sparks, Nevada. Been there. Formation. Another formation. Five minutes. Three saucer traveled from south to west. Saucers. See, you know, whenever I get, see read saucers, because those are that's old school. That's old school. Really old school. Um, stepped onto the back porch last evening. Noticed three saucer-shaped crafts tra traveling from south to north. These things were at some distance from me. Uh, two to three miles at approximately 3,000 feet. Of objects were metallic in color. Resembled aluminum. Definitely saucer-shaped. Close to 20 feet in diameter. Moved rapidly across the sky. And UFO or see noted witness elect to remain totally anonymous, provides no contact information. You know, you can find this report here on www.nufoc.org forward slash web reports forward slash 143 forward slash s143930.html. And I'll put the information on the bottom of the video. Okay, so old school saucer, right on. Now, the Navy has, can't remember the name of the drone. I did a report on a couple years ago. I, they were, I was out at um, Oceanside, and I saw saucer. I saw saucer. I also saw a naval ship. So I did some research, and the Navy's got these saucer-shaped drones. These things are about as big as a car, a mid-sized car, but bigger, wider, because they're saucer-shaped, and they are drones. A person could sit on one to on top, guaranteed, but they are light, and they are saucer-shaped, and they will make you think you're being invaded by a bunch of little ETs if you saw these things. I'm not talking about the drones you buy in a store. These are car big drones and they look like uh, UFOs and I will do a project on those one day but not right now but just to let you know 
But, you know, I've been in ufology for quite a bit. I've heard a lot of stories. I've been out to a lot of different places. Met a lot of people from around the world. Um, ET's real, folks. It's not a joke. But what's going on in our world today, I do not know. But what I do know, they're here. The government is not letting us know about it. And we're having to find out about it on our own. Keep your eyes to the skies and always remember, disclosure, disclosure, disclosure. Till next time, peace out, folks.